Once the tree is cut, it undergoes a natural smoking process. This takes several weeks and adds a deep brown color to complement the existing red hue. It is then sent the 4,500 miles back to Bentley's factory in Crewe, England, where it is inspected in the wood shop. Bentley says it rejects 30-70% of veneers, and all chosen veneers must have a high burr density, minimal sapwood, and no bar growth or structural defects. Check out. Bentley will build 19 Mulsanne based grand convertibles. When chosen, each raw veneer is cut to a layer of scant 0.6 mm thick. Every raw veneer must pass tests for stability in UV light and consistency from tree to tree. The veneer is just the top layer of wood. It is applied over several layers of a less expensive wood, and usually covered in five coats of lacquer then buffed to a mirror like shine. It is also book matched. To accomplish this, successive layers with the same grain are chosen, and they were applied from the center of the car outward to make sure the grain pattern matches from side to side. It takes up to 20 hours to complete the wood for one Bentley flying spur, and the wood isn't ready to be used for 18 months after it is harvested.